Hey guys, at BV Matson here. Let's wire up our Shockwave ignition system from Common Motor. Again, they have an amazing video on their YouTube channel that does this all step by step. Probably way better than this one that I'm doing here, but that's okay. Um, this is actually really straightforward to work with. So uh, areas of focus is looking at our coils, okay? Each coil has one of these. My uh, has a blue and a black with a white stripe. Can't see that, but trust me. Yeah, there you go, black and a white stripe. Coming out of each one of our coils, remember we got two coils. Now, I don't have a separate color. Both of mine have blue <laughs> colors on them, um, but no worries, we'll figure that out. We'll just pay attention to which one's on the left and which one's on the right. So you're gonna need these two wires right here, all right? And then we're gonna be paying attention to this black and white coming out of our main harness. So this is coming out of the, kind of the slope out of the main harness. This is one that we're gonna be paying attention to here. So you've got one, two, three wires, just like that. You've gotta pay attention to that. And essentially it's all gonna to dial together here. So pretty straightforward, let's get started. All right, our first step is to grab our tap-in Posi locks. Now, uh, the common motors really diligent about stuff. They actually threw this in here and they said, hey, you might have got the wrong ones. Here are the correct posi locks for the first connection that we have. And basically, these are just a tap in. So uh, you can actually just tap into any wire uh, that you want with these. So this is uh, really, really slick. And where we're going to be looking here, I'll give you a little bit of a better angle here, is this black and white wire. And it's got the double connector on it. What we want to do is we want to tap in to both of these. So essentially, we're just going to take one of our tap-ins onto this black and white, slide that on there just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our tap and we're just going to put this in. So just carefully push this in and that should tap right into our black and white. We're actually going to put two of these on there, okay? So there's one tap gonna go ahead and do my second tap right here okay order doesn't matter we're tapping into the same line so essentially just crank these on just like that bada bing bada boom now remove the cap from the other side all right just like this and what we're gonna do is we are going to look at our bundle here this is coming off of the shock wave okay give you a little better look we're gonna be focusing on the two red ones here and of course, I got a little carried away with my wire strippers the other day, so I need to trim these up just a little bit. All right, guys, we got our wires all trimmed up, sitting here just like that. We're gonna grab the other ends of our posi lock, and again, you're just gonna push that through. You just want a little bit of copper showing through the top edge of it, and then we're gonna go up and we're gonna tap this all together into those blue ones, whoops, into those blue ones that we just put into place, okay? So again, keep a little upward pressure on the wire as you get it going in. Make sure it doesn't separate. And you should be able to just tighten this bad boy on there. Just like that. Give it a nice crank. And then we'll go ahead and we'll do the, other, the same thing to this one, just like that. And we'll tap in to our other one. Now, this is the basically the power for your coils. So... Um, guys, we are inching our way towards a first fire up. Uh, again, this bike, as far as I know, has not run since 1989. That was the last plate sticker that was on it. And we should be okay. I've got, see, I've got one little piece of wire there coming out the bottom. Looks like a one little wire popped out. So keep an eye open for that. I'm gonna make sure that that is all clean and no wire is exposed because Again, you don't want something arcing or grounding out or doing anything like that. So pay attention to that. I'm glad I caught that actually, because you never know. Um, you know, once you get them running, there's sure to be some gremlins that present themselves. And that could have easily, I would assume, have been one that I might've been chasing around for a while. So with those connected, we're good to go there. So we're tapped in here. Now what you want to do is you want to look at each of your coils. Each of your coils has this double. And one of these is that black and white wire. This black and white wire is gonna go into the double on the same 
one that we just tapped into. And there's gonna be one coming from each one of your coils, okay? So I'm just gonna grab, reach around, grab this one, and do the same thing. And we're gonna fill up our double bullet connector <laughs> right here. Boy, there ain't much, uh, much slack on this one at all. So again, I have to twist it around just a little bit, being mindful of all of my different connectors. And let's push this bad boy on. Boom, so that's it. So now all we're looking at here are our two remaining blues. I think one of these is supposed to be yellow, I think. So this is essentially my right side. My right would be yellow, but I'm not too worried about that. All right, next step in wiring, let's uh, get a new angle. All right, next order of business, we're gonna look at our white wires. Now I went ahead and put a little piece of blue tape on, uh, on the one wire that I had marked previously. And again, that is our left side, okay? This other one without a mark is our right side. And those actually plug in to these blues. Now, Common Motor did give us, you know, we already installed them, these PosiLock connectors. So we are gonna have to get the wire cutters out and we're gonna snip off these uh, doubles. So just reach in there, cut that off. We don't need it on this. So we'll pull those off just like that. I'm going to grab my wire strippers, give this a quick little snip, and maybe need a little bit more than that. Love these wire strippers, man. These are like one of my favorite tools. Oh, not much, there's not much leeway in the wiring here, guys. Not much room for forgiveness, but that should be perfect. Just reach down and see if I can actually get this one to all right, next step here is we're going to start wiring this up a little bit. Grab the end of your posi lock off of one of your white wires. This is my marked wire, this is my left. So this needs to go to the left side coil. So I'm just gonna make double sure this one's coming out of my left. And then we can go ahead and do that. Just like this. And push that together, a little bit of downward pressure and we're gonna tighten that on just like that. And then we've got our other white that we can take the posi lock off and install that onto this one. Just like that, beautiful. And we can take this and connect this one as well. All right. I'm getting excited guys, this is really cool. All right, so those are all tightened up. Those are all solid, our whites are good, our blue is to our left, or our white marked wire is going to our left coil, and we are sitting really, really pretty. Um, next step, basically, uh, actually, let me change camera angle here. All right, now we're looking at the wires actually coming out of the uh, point side right here. We've got a green and a blue, and wouldn't you know, we've got a green and a blue left over on this side, so I'm just gonna strip this. Just a hair, I'm gonna strip this one. Just a hair, and I can go green to green, blue to blue. So let's grab our blue, just like this. Slide our posi lock on there, go to blue to blue. Can't screw that one up, okay? Again, a little upward pressure as you're doing that. Just like this. Grab my other posi lock off of this side right here. And let's move over to our green. Get that on there. Drop our posi lock on, just like that. Reach over, a little upward pressure, and tighten this on. And honestly, guys, that really completes the wiring of the shockwave. It's really, really, really straightforward. Um, can tuck this all in, and this will wrap right up. It'll all get kind of tucked in here just like that but again we got to go through all the timing and everything on this so a um, little bit of work to do but that is how you uh wire up your shockwave guys um nothing to it i i love how easy to install uh this setup is we've got our sensors in place everything's sitting here it's just it's ready you know to get timed but um yeah i just wanted to finish that job up um as far as wiring goes 
I think we are there. We have done everything. Uh, let's do a quick fly around and look at everything we've done. So there we've got our coils after we installed our engine, of course. We were able to hook up our stator coil right into there. We have blocked off these two unused wires which were featured in a previous video. Um, there's nothing left over here. The only things, I have one ground wire that is left here. I'm not sure what that is for. Um, I don't recall needing that. I don't see any place for it. Everything appears to be working just fine. Um, so I'm thinking that might be extra. I may go and fish around on the 1970 CB350 because it has the exact same harness, the exact same shockwave, the same setup is going in on this bike. So I might go poke around a little bit and see if there was one left over there. Um, and we've also pretty much cleaned up all of the wiring over here. The only things left to do is I need to isolate some of these unused wires. So I'm gonna go through and just tape everything off, make sure that I have you know, nothing grounding on anything. So um, what else? Um, yeah, we went through the regulator rectifier. We did all of that. All of our lights are good. That's it, guys. I think we are done with wiring and we can kind of start buttoning this thing up. Tonight, I'm um, probably gonna get the air filters on, get the carburetors installed, um, some small little projects, and then you know, if I get some time this weekend, I may come out and actually time this all up. What's kind of slowing me down right now um, is that I'm kind of protesting a little bit about polishing more aluminum. Um, I've got to get this cover done. I've got to get the left side cover done. And I also have to get the clutch cover done. Um, so that's why I've gotten some comments about, hey, why haven't you done anything with the clutch cable? Well, I haven't done that yet because I still need to get that cover done. So a little progress update. I'm going to make some progress tonight for sure. And uh, yeah, we're doing good. This ignition install is absolutely huge. Guys, thanks so much for watching the videos. If you enjoy the videos, please subscribe to the channel, guys. It means a ton. Also, thumbs up those videos that you enjoy. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, if you need some WD-40, some Deep Creek, some Marvel Mystery Oil, whatever, there's a bunch of links in the descriptions of my videos that when you purchase from those links, you can support the channel and make sure these projects keep moving forward. Guys, I appreciate the support. I love your comments. Uh, chime in, guys. Don't be shy. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. We're going to keep on going on the 1972 CL350. See you in the next video.